Next, we'll create a key pair. And this is a secure key that you'll use to connect and access your instances. Note that once you've created one key pair, you can use it for all your subsequent instances. Of course, use this carefully, as you don't want to accidentally leak the key to other people. For now, let's click Create New Key Pair. We'll give it a name. We'll call it AWS Demo Key. And depending on how you wish to access your instance, specify the one you want. We'll be going with .pem for this case, although I do use .ppk for PuTTY. PuTTY is useful when connecting to a Linux instance from Windows, for example. However, .pem is fine for now. So, we'll hit Create Key Pair, and that'll download it automatically. Keep that safe, and don't lose this key. If you lose this key, you won't be able to access it again, and you'll be forced to create a new one. You can see here that it's automatically filled in, the key that we've just created. So we'll leave that set, and move down to Network Settings. Ah, before I forget, the key pair you create is tied to this region. So if I head to a different region, say the US, this key pair will not be available, and I will need to create a new one. Now, the security group settings are extremely important, and will specify how secure your instance is. Unfortunately, I can't show you secure settings for every use case, so for this demonstration, we're going to have it be incredibly insecure. However, before I apply these settings, first and foremost, do not use open settings for an official deployment. Doing so will allow any traffic into your instance. So, to get started, let's hit edit up the top here. This will give us a variety of extra information. We're going to leave some of these settings as default, but we are going to give this one a name. We can save this security group and use it in future. So, let's replace this with it's insecure, allow all. That'll be a good way to know that we can use this one, but we should not for deployments. Description, again, optional. It will autofill with that garbage that you just saw there, and we'll go with Insecure. That way, people will not use this again. I cannot stress the importance of this enough. Now, inbound security group rules. We're going to change RDP to all traffic. Allow all, allow all, source type anywhere, anywhere. That will allow everything. Now that we've got that set, once we've saved and launched this, this will be saved and we can select the security group in future for quick access. Let's move on now to storage. 